for me, for as long as I can remember nature, whether it's the beach, when I grew up going to the beach during the summers, whether it was out in, you know, a hike at a park or just like a field of grass, whenever it was that I was in nature, I have always, for as long as I can remember, felt a bit more connected to that authentic self, that that space of being a little bit less in my head, if you will, and more in my body, in my presence, a little more grounded, a little more peaceful. So for me, kind of those moments on the beach and really the awareness that I wasn't always operated, operating from that grounded, centered, safe, secure, authentic space gave me then the opportunity to identify the many moments throughout any given day that I was lost in my mind. I was more worrying about other people and what they want or need or what they're thinking of me and less connected to my body. And each and every time throughout my day, and this became just a consistent practice that I committed myself to and then remained committed to, which was giving myself the opportunity when I noticed I wasn't fully in my body, I wasn't feeling safe and grounded and secure in my body in any given moment, those moments gave me an opportunity to become present to my body, to create safety and security if my nervous system was stressed, upset, or dysregulated for any reason. And then those beach moments, you know, seeking out more moments in nature, just more general moments throughout my day. And I think as, as is the case in terms of the way we all learn, giving myself almost that point of contrast, right? So many at moments of my day, I'm disconnected. I'm on that spaceship as I describe it and how to do the work. I'm endlessly analyzing, you know, in my mind or thinking or worrying about someone else. And now, you know, throughout the day, having given myself that moment to shift more into my own presence, whether it's on the beach or, you know, while I'm doing dishes in the morning, instead of being in my mind, just being in my body, feeling the suds, cleaning the dish. Now I had a bit of a contrast. I could notice, right, how it felt different when I was in my physical body and then begin to notice the different sensations that were present there and learning how to tolerate more and more of the uncomfortable ones and notice all of the ways that that state of consciousness is what I'm describing felt different than that state of distraction, of autopilot, of all of those habits and patterns, again, that were creating my life. So really it invited me on a continually unfolding journey to this day of giving myself more moments in my conscious present awareness so that I could be in that intentional point of choice, right? I could say, okay, this is what I want to do next intentionally, as opposed to just as many of us are doing, allowing that autopilot to determine what happens next.